So you guys, so today we got some cool stuff that came in the mail. So we're just gonna open this up and show you what we got. So you guys, as you know, you already see that this is the Mandalorian. I'm not really sure which edition this is. However, I know it's not the first edition because the first edition was in a white box as in the picture show. We're going to be doing the full unboxing of it. So let's take this out. And to start, we're going to take out the disruptor rifle, I believe. Oh, the amber rifle. I'm going to put the information on the screen. And pretty much it's the it's main weapon, and these are the ones used to electrify people and actually disintegrate them. Uh, pretty awesome. Also, I think it's used by the Boston Riders. And then we have that regular IB-94 blaster pistol, which is kind of reminds me of one of those Cowboys uh, revolvers. Uh, so let's take him out. He got a little stuck in there, and it's because the cape is behind the plastic. Anyways, look at this. As you can see like the arms and the joints and pretty much the articulation on the whole action figure is actually really good. I mean, I just can imagine all the poses that you can do with him. Also, the another thing that's great about this is like the sculpture art on it. I mean, everything's really detailed, like almost every, every little piece you can see the detail on it, like in the clothing, even on the plastic um, cape. And I can put the gun in the holster. There you go, it didn't fit that well, but anyways, uh, I tried to take the helmet off, bro, I didn't realize that it doesn't come off, so almost decapitate the figure. More than that, then you can see uh, the plastic belt, it's not part of the main body, which it moves around, which is kind of cool, you know, it looks more realistic than the cape, see, it looks like Superman, we can make him fly, anyways, and then you can see the the joints and the knees. I mean, you can see like how much he moves, like the leg moving, like you can do a lot of poses with this. And the hands also, look at that. I remember back in the day when you used to have the old figures, they didn't move at all. Like this one, you can even move the feet, look at that. I mean, I was really impressed. And also we take the gun, try to put it in the hand. It didn't fit quite well. I know it has like a trigger finger also on the hand. So I didn't win well. I think if I had spent more time on it, probably could like make it fit that way it's supposed to. Anyways, that's the with the gun. And then, so if you look at the hands, it's kind of cool. Like uh, it moves up and down, especially the right hand. It goes all the way around, but also has that, that little movement for up and down. So you can make a uh, pose more realistic. The left hand doesn't move as much. It only kind of turns, but this one actually moves. This one just turns around. Well, yeah, overall, really great. The head movement is great too, from side to side, up and down, and from side to side. Yeah. Then let's see if we can put the rifle in there. Let's make it fit so we can, so you can see, you can get like some cool poses on it. I was going really fast on this. I, I know that camera is, is, not, is like going faster than it's supposed to, but I didn't want to spend too much time trying to pose the figure, bro. Uh, I mean, overall looks really well. But then I put the gun in the hostler again. It fits really well. I mean, it looks great. Detail, great detail. Then let me close this down if I can. It's a little difficult because it's so tiny. However, anyways, guys, uh, if you like the Mandalorian and you like the Star Wars figures, I highly, highly recommend you to get this. I mean, just that detail is great. and. What I can say, uh, I'm probably gonna start collecting these things more. I mean, I only have one or two of them, but now after this, I'm probably gonna get all of them. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.